Hello, and thank you for joining me today on Slow Motion Reactions. I am Luke, and today I've got another one for Angelina Jordan. I'm really excited about going down this rabbit hole of hers. She's really, really cool, an amazing singer. I've been listening to, I kind of wanted to listen to more, more of the stuff that, that um, is making her popular now. Um, you know, now that she's grown up, and, you know, she's 18, she's, she's putting out her own stuff. I know that I want to go back to and listen to her renditions of things that she's done in the past. Like we, we listened to Bohemian Rhapsody, right? Amazing, amazing. And then I heard too that they, Queen even allowed her to be able to to release that under her own name because of the way she just redid it. You know, it was so amazing, so good. So um, uh, I wanted to listen to this one because I know this song. I mean, one of my biggest memories of this song, I mean, I know it's a Crazy Firewater Revival song, but um, the, one of my biggest memories of this song was Bette Midler doing this song on Hocus Pocus. Um, she did a really great job on it, but Bette Midler, she does a great job on everything. So um, uh, I'm really excited about this. Also, too, just give you a heads up, um, a couple things. First one, don't forget to, to subscribe and hit that post notification bell so you never miss a video. And just to help you guys out, I've got a big collection of videos that we've already reacted to. We actually, I'm going to go ahead and put them right up here so that we can go ahead and um, check out another one. Next thing, I also put a link in all of my videos that I do. Uh, I've been doing this now for quite a few weeks. Um, I, I put a link to the video itself, and then that right there will get you a link to who posted it or the actual artists themselves, which I think is going to be a good thing because if you click on them, then you'll be able to go ahead and subscribe to them. And matter of fact, I do know that Angelina Jordan, she's very, very close to have a million subscribers. Help her out and get there. You know, if you're a big fan of hers, then help her get there. All right, so um, Angelina Jordan, I put a spell on you. Let's go. Let's go. There she is. Okay, we're going to get to that solo. I'm going to go ahead and rewind a little bit to, to make sure I don't cut off that solo too much. All right, so I don't think, well, hmm, let, me, let me make sure I phrase this right. She has, at this particular age when she does this song, she, has, she had a talent that was beyond her years. And I think I mentioned this before, too, that that, that voice should not be coming out of a little girl like that. No way. I mean, I've never heard that before. I, have, I had a cousin that could sing, but I like that. When she was real little, she did all that too. And she actually went to Japan and everything, was in an encore group or whatnot at one point, but they didn't really do anything. Not like this. She She's doing things that you should not be able to do at that age. She sounds like she's a full-grown woman and at, at this particular age. She, she doesn't sound natural. Like, like, I feel like she's, it almost seems like she's lip syncing a full grown woman to make it because she loves the music so much. But then I look at her facial expressions at this particular age, and this is what I'm talking about too. 
the, the difference between listening to her now versus listening to her then. Her facial expressions here, I, I feel like because of the fact that she's so young, she doesn't really uh, appreciate the gravity of the lyrics that she's, she's singing. I mean, she understands them, obviously. She knows what she's singing, but I don't think she fully emotionally is invested in the lyrics. You know what I mean? She doesn't have that. She doesn't have that. That that um, that history, that experience, to be emotionally invested. And I'm not saying that she doesn't. She hasn't lived. I'm just saying that more based upon what you guys were telling me, her parents kind of made sure that she wanted to be a child. And if she's a child, she doesn't understand about those type of lyrics. But yet she sings them like she does. And that's the crazy part. I mean, how can you sing them like that? Because I see her facial expressions. I'm like. Okay, you look like you're just doing your thing. You know, you know what to do. You know how to do it. You're you're amazing, and you're just singing. But she doesn't seem like she's she's really emotionally invested in the lyrics. And it's a shame because now, when I saw her when I saw her performance of uh, uh, "If I Were a Boy," um, when I saw that, I saw the emotion in her face. I saw that, and that to me. Is leaps and bounds, and leaps and bounds, makes the song even more meaningful. Now, don't get me wrong; this is absolutely beyond amazing because of what she's able to do with her voice at this age. But when you see somebody get emotionally invested into a song, and and they they show it on their face, along with having the talent that she has, I mean, come on, that just that pulls you in so much that it tugs at your heartstrings, it tugs at your mind. And you, you can't help but just fall in love with the, the, the entire performance. It, that's what makes it amazing, I feel. That's what I've always felt makes it amazing. So, yeah, she's, she's awesome. She's awesome. Uh, let's finish this up. Like I said, it almost feels like she's going in there. I know I need to sing the song. I know how to sing it. Let's go ahead and do it. Let's go ahead and knock it out of the park. And she knocks it out of the park. Um, yeah, as you get older, you get the understanding of the lyrics, of the true understanding of those lyrics that you're singing. And so you get more invested in those lyrics and really show the emotion in your face. And I don't feel like at that age, granted, she sings it beautifully. Nothing taken away from that. She sings it beautifully, but you can see in her face she's not emotionally invested because she has lived long enough to really experience stuff like that. And, and you know, and that's not taken away from her singing. That's just 
looking at it at face value from my point of view. So, but wow, oh wow, she's amazing. That was a really, really good job that she put on that song. She did it amazing. I mentioned Bette Midler earlier. She can give Bette Midler a run for her money easily on that one. <laughs> really, really good. All right, so uh, that was Angelina Jordan. I put a spell on you. Really, really enjoyed that. If you guys enjoyed that too, go ahead and smash that like button, which I'm going to go ahead and do right now. All right, so, um, and as you can see, she's at 917K subscribers. Let's get her to a million. Let's get her to a million. Matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and subscribe now. I'll do it. All right, so, um, Thank you. Thank you. Oh, by the way, don't forget to like and share. Uh, when you share, you get more opportunity for other people to listen to these reactions. And if we get more people, then we get more suggestions. That's just the way I see it. And I just love suggestions. I love more music. The more music, the better. All right, so thank you so much for joining us on this reaction journey. Uh, joining me, I, I really do appreciate you. I hope you guys have a wonderful evening. You guys take care. Peace. Oops. We got to press stop.